at the Aircraft Electronics Association show in New Orleans, Abenine rolled out some improvements for their IFD series navigators. Here's Tom Harper. So what we're announcing at the show this year is we've certified the R10.2 software for the IFD 540 and 440, and that adds a lot of new features. Plus we've also certified the new IFD 550, which is our basically like a 540, but it's got a built-in attitude reference sensor, so it can give us some unique display capability with uh, synthetic vision. Our 10.2 software includes synthetic vision for the 540 and 440. It's backward compatible, so all those folks that already have those boxes can upgrade, and it is a free upgrade. Uh, it adds a bunch of other new features like uh, circle around a point holds. Uh, it, ha it enables the Wi-Fi and uh, capability to communicate with the iPad. So uh, we've got a lot of third-party partners like uh, Four Flight and Seattle Avionics with the FlyQ. So we can start uh, doing two-way uh, communication with those apps. Plus we enabled our own uh, IFD100 app, uh, which we've launched here and certified as part of this 10.2 cert. Uh, so let me take you through a little bit of that. Here you're looking at the IFD550, which again looks like the 540, but you'll notice it has an extra button here called SVS. So if this was a 540, then here's the 440. If you notice, we've added an extra tab, and now we can see an exocentric view of synthetic vision. So instead of just a plan view of the map, we've got a 3D uh, color contour terrain map with our flight plan overlaid. If there were any obstacles nearby, they would show up. If we were below the terrain, it would turn color and give us a, a, a pseudo taws capability. You can see there's an airport off in the distance there, so you'll get really a synthetic vision view. And with the IFD 550, we take it a step further. Again, this is exocentric view. Here's an egocentric view kind of looking out the window. You'll get the pitch ladder and the roll pointer. So this actually has a, a pitch and roll sensor in it, so you, it'll actually, uh, uh, as you're seeing here, going into a bank, so for a lot of airplanes out there that don't have access to an EFAS system or a, a modern PFD, this is a, a way to get a lot of that capability and synthetic vision in the space where your FMS or GPS used to sit. Here you've got 3D traffic coming in. So as, as the traffic gets closer, it actually gets bigger. The other nice thing we've done again is enable the Wi-Fi capability to our iPad app. And as you can see here with the iPad app, We've got it in a plan view mode. And now I can also take it over and look at the synthetic vision. And again, in this case, as an exocentric view, or because I'm coupled with a 550, I've got the SVS button and I can see the out the window view. In this case, we've got an air data computer coming into the 550, so we're getting a lot of additional information. We can actually put up altitude and airspeed tapes on the uh, IFD 100. It also allows uh, interface to RDR 2000 radar, and we also have um, a new versions with a RS-170 video input. One of the unique features of the IFD-100, it actually acts as another instance of IFD. It's like having a third IFD in the cockpit. So that, that means I can control, I can have independent display of information on the iPad independent of this, but if I want to uh, edit my flight plan or enter a flight plan, I can do it from the iPad and it will slave back to the panel mounted boxes and now we're off and running. So whatever I input here will slave over to the iPad and vice versa. Uh, for a lot of customers, maybe all they can fit is the small screen 440 and this gives them access to a big screen with synthetic vision uh, on the iPad, but they've got a fully certified navigation device. You can find out more about the R10.2 software upgrade on our website at avidine.com or talk to your dealer. And uh, the software is no charge for customers who already have the 540 and 440. And of course, it's included with any new systems.